the bottle cap throw. Yeah, I, I was going to take them away, and I was like, oh, I'll leave them there. That's, right. That's a good idea. I like it. I well, like it. Well, hopefully we we like this. We've gone back to uh, we we tried. I can't remember several months back. We tried a uh, gluten free beer. We gave, uh, we new gave one a new shot. planet. New planet brewing company. We tried their gluten free beer. Off grid. Off the grid. It was a pale ale. We tried that. <laughs> Did not like it at all whatsoever. <laughs> we yeah. Not and big we fans. were open to it. I thought. Oh yeah. I said because oh, yeah. uh, this is something that uh, I, you see more and more. Even at Arbuckle, we actually get questions about this, even with coffee. You know, they'll ask if there is gluten in that, you know, because that's a very sensitive thing if you have that issue. It's nothing, you know, nothing to joke about. Of so, course. like, since we're trying to see, you know, what is out there, is there something out there that does maintain the flavor of beer or come close to it? Or, you know, even if it's like an, some sort of offshoot, as long as it tastes good. Yeah, it doesn't. The previous one yeah. just wasn't, it was just kind of strange. It's not like we're expecting it to taste like a beer necessarily. Right. We just want it to taste good yeah we'd like it to <laughs> we'd like we'd like it to and i'm sure we're people, fans of things that taste good right and i'm sure people that uh that have that issue would would like would like it to also taste like beer and we're here to check this one out yeah we are going to check this one out on this give it a shot i'm andrew and i'm keith and we are about beverages.com and the beer or yeah it is a beer it is a beer. The gluten-free beer that we're about today is called tweezin ale and it is from our uh, friends at uh, dogfish who if anyone can do something unique and crazy and still make it taste good, it's probably going to be dogfish. dogfish. So I'm putting it on the line. This may taste okay. And I have not had one. I hope so. so. I'm, I'm hoping that this one does. They did wonders with pumpkin. They did. With that's, pumpkin beers. That's they've still <laughs> one of our, our favorites. The uh, My Antonia, still one of my favorites. Summer oh, favorite. I love the My Antonia. Man, my, that's really good. Pick one of those up. The 90-minute IPA, that's still probably my, just my favorite go-to. I haven't had a 90-minute in a long Gosh, time. Gosh, I love the 90-minute. I'll have to try that. I still have two of the 120 sitting in the... I have one. Sit, sitting stored right now. Yeah, gosh, I love those. I I bought like four or five of them, and I wish I had bought a couple more. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> At the, nine bucks a pop, though, sometimes know, it seems a little so stupid. steep. It was, yeah, it was. It's, it was one of those things that it's just like, but there's... When I open one up, I'm like, oh, this is money well spent. <laughs> when I actually do have one and sit there and enjoy it, because it's something to savor. You don't I was going to say, you don't just go... Yeah. Oh gosh. At eighteen percent, I probably $9. wouldn't be here doing this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah. Well, we've we've showered them with enough compliments. That's so, right. We have. So, what have they uh, actually replaced uh, the uh, your typical barley, your malts, and things like uh, that with? Sorghum. It looks like yeah, they've used uh, sorghum. Some more gum. No <laughs> sorghum. Uh, they've used in there, and this is also brewed with strawberries and buckwheat honey. Buck. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wow, lots of cheese references <laughs> yeah. we got going on. Oh, today. of course. Uh, 6% alcohol on this. Surprised? No. Okay. Well. <laughs> I don't know if it's any. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Where does the, uh, so that alcohol would come from the sorghum? The malted, they must malt that? Yeah. Okay. And then probably adding it. I think there's, well, they're using buckwheat honey, and I thought there was something else in here too. Water, sorghum syrup, strawberries, honey. Hops and yeast. Okay. So, yeah, and then the, obviously the sugar helps kick kick all things going. That's right. Get it going. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let's go. Why uh, wait? You've uh, built the anticipation. I know. I'm interested in how the strawberries are going to happen. You know what I mean? Like how strong <laughs> is that flavor going to be? I know how strawberries are made. <laughs> how do strawberries How do happen? strawberries come? <laughs> Where do they come from? Well, the strawberry is given a little red tinge. That's nice. A slight... Uh, Kind of more of an amber. What was color. the Seven Up that didn't? Didn't there used to be a cherry Seven Up? Yeah, that was good. That's kind of what this reminds me of a little bit. Not quite as pink as that, but mm -hmm. has a little a of pinkish that. hue. Yeah, you can't really see it when you first poured it though. It had uh, just a little bit. It's like pinkish gold. There and is a more gold with just a tinge. Of it's funny because I initially was saying amber, but you're right. There is more of like there's a reddish something that's in there yeah. that's you know kind of tinting the gold there, but. Uh, Looks nice, Extremely super clear. super clear, very light carbonation. Yep. Not much on the uh, on the lacing lacing action there. Oh, sorry. That's all right. I beat you to the punch. My nostrils couldn't wait. Well, I don't I don't smell like strawberries as much, but I smell grape. <laughs> I see. I smell strawberries. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That smells like grape bubble gum, like bubblicious or something. Yeah, I get the oh, grape too. Kinda, I guess it yeah, is kind of strawberry. It's kind of that yeah. hybridy weird. Okay. I wonder if um, maybe the honey's affecting, like, because there's some sweetness in there. Maybe that's kind of well, throwing if, off some of the like the bubble gum you're speaking of. I wonder if that uses a strawberry flavoring to to get to that as as part Probably. of the component. Yeah. No, good call. Because we know it doesn't. Yeah. 
There's just a nice, there's a nice deep honey aroma there after that too. I, I like the aroma of this. It's this, very, this it smells really good. It's very enticing. It, it I wouldn't think beer. No, it reminds me of cider. Cider, yeah, or something like even that. soda. Just because of that sweet, the, the sweet fruit. Yeah, it could be like a like a grape crush. Yeah, like, not quite that strong. Right, you right, know what I'm talking about. Like if you watered that down a little bit. Yep. But, uh, well, I'm very intrigued for me, sure. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take some more sips, but the first sip made me think of, after I got through the initial like strawberry and a little bit of sweet, it made me think of like a liquid salty peanut. <laughs> there was oh. something like salty. It was like there was something like a I planter's peanut. Like I just put like, or like the, the ones that are still in the shell that you get at the ballpark and stuff that you just put it in your mouth and you get that kind of like earthy and then some salty. There was something in there that shoots right to the middle of your Well, there's palate. something that does definitely come back at the end that is... It's salty. It's like like actual salty, salt. Yeah. yeah. Not like oh my mouth. Is oh yeah. Like no, no. salt. Oh yeah. 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 That's there. <laughs> Isn't that weird. Well, but I was too distracted by thinking of uh, Bruce Willis. <laughs> my first sip. Go out was, to the coast. You have a few laughs. No. No. Not, not Die Hard. It's okay. Seagrams. <laughs> Golden wine cooler. <laughs> it's wet and it's, it's dry. It's wet and it's dry. <laughs> my 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 my. Now, I that's not, what I first I've thought. I've not of. had a lot of those. Is that kind of what they? <laughs> I haven't had a wine cooler in years, but for some reason that fruitiness just it made me think more along the lines of of yeah. like a hard cider or something like that. It's which, not quite which, that refreshingly fruity. No, 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 no. It's not that much there. This has a little more probably because of the honey. There's a little more weight to that. Oh like, boy, that yeah, that is salt. It is, isn't it? But it's, it's totally not like likes, drying you out salt. No, but it's, it's just like sea, it's like someone sprinkled sea salt in my wow. mouth right at the end of my. <laughs> wouldn't wow. that be a great visit? Like your <laughs> yeah. image, like you're, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> take a drink, then if someone <laughs> sprinkles sea salt, that's wealth right there. If you're able to take a bite of food and then someone else like sprinkles Sprinkle some salt, sea in salt. In your mouth. yeah, <laughs> more oh. salt. Oh, sea salt sprinkler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> History of the world part two. It's like salt. Whew. I get the strawberry too, but it l the lingering note is that grape. Yeah. The grape uh, candy. Grape grape yeah, and that might be because of the yeast they use too. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't say on the honey. And I, that's, uh, to me, that's nothing nowhere close to a beer, but it's not saying, well, it's saying it's an ale. Um, which is a beer. Which, well, I know. Okay. <laughs> it is. But, but it's, so yes, it's right. saying it is a beer. And it's calling it a gluten-free beer. So we're saying we're trying to make something that is like beer. They're trying to make it a little bit more fun because they're putting the berries in it and whatnot. But they're still trying to say that this is a beer and we've taken this other thing out of it. Enjoy. So on so those merits, this does not make it. This is not. No, all. does not. It's no. not close to that. The, at best, you could say it's a fruit beer. And but even, uh, but and even then, then, it doesn't yeah. have notes of beer. Okay, so let's take that out of the equation. Yeah. Just based on the beverage itself, let's not say that it's trying to be a beer. Let's just say that, hey, here's this thing that's kind of interesting. This is, you know, like I said, it's, it doesn't have any gluten in it. What do you think? I like it. Yeah? I think it's good. I wouldn't buy it. It's too expensive. Right. Um, but I'm very glad that we tried this. The, the saltiness I can get past because it doesn't leave me dry. If it was salty that left me dry, no, it's just I'd unique. have a problem with it. It is really unique. Um, the thing is, I would think about, uh, I'd almost think about having this like super, super, super cold and pouring it over ice almost. Okay. Um, because that's what it makes me think of. But once again, it's. Because there it, might be more of a refreshing component, which I think is maybe being lost because we do have this. It's not hot by any means, but it's not super cold either. It's just, you know. Right, a little above fridge temperature. Right. It almost reminds me of the lam the Lambrusco, okay. the, the red Lambrusco. All right, not quite as fruity as that. Not quite as fruity, but there's a high note there. The high note. Um, the the salt almost kind of kicks up some of the other things that are yeah. in there too. So based, like you said, based it's just tart. on it that, is tart a little bit. Yeah. And, well, that, now I was say the Lambrusco is five bucks for 25 ounces so this would be six bucks for 24 ounces so it's not that much more uh okay price wise than something like that if you look at it like that so you know what maybe okay under the right circumstances 
I wouldn't buy that just for me to have in my fridge. Right. But I, I could see a time when I would purchase that. It'd be interesting over ice. Like, that's actually yeah. kind of, like, that probably sounds even more crazy, but so is dogfish. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, in a great too, way. Yeah, in a great way. So, yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, as a beer. How do you I feel cannot, about it? Same I, question you asked me. Yeah, I would say the exact same thing. I think it's almost like something I'd want to have around just to be able to like, hey, try this. Try this. You yeah. know, to like do that. Yeah. And I could see that, you know, when you kind of put it in the terms like you just did, I hadn't thought about it through that much. I, I think that's definitely a, a unique way to look at it. I can't look at it as a beer because it, no. ta- it doesn't taste like a beer. No. I, I'm guessing most of these don't because if Dogfish hasn't figured it out, and these other places that that's all they do haven't made it taste like a beer. No one's going to, right? Because you know you're taking. You it's, it's like I made you a steak with broccoli. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a little extreme, but I mean, that's you're trying to do that. It's like, well, you seasoned it the same, and yeah. you did some of these other little tricks and things, but it's still at the same time, it doesn't have the texture or flavor or the protein that's in it. But if you, it, but see now they took, and I don't know what the base of this tasted like, but they they took that base and then they went strawberry and buckwheat honey right if they'd had that base and gone i don't know what else would you add because you couldn't add can't add any grains yeah i, I don't even know what you yeah the, coffee the previous one was well how about a gluten-free beer with coffee or well, something i don't see, know i'm just see now that would there. be interesting i wonder if you could do like a gluten-free stout so you could bring in a lot of other smoky elements some chocolate chocolate some other things like that you actually could put actual chocolate in there you could put like maybe you could put cocoa nibs like things like that that are actually yeah. chocolatey Th- that might actually be an interesting way to go good yeah that's uh, so yeah but uh, yeah no it's it's intriguing i'm 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 definitely glad you picked one of those up cuz without the fruit you kind of get what we had previously which was the new planet right which was their pale ale which had just the you know they went for hoppy and then they kind of left that base right and then that base was just you could use hops though right good in there yeah yeah. Yeah, okay. hops are fine. All right. Yeah. And they did too. They're just not coming through very strong. It's not like right. an IPA or something like that. But yeah, it's it's yeah. uh I'm I'm glad to have tried it. I think if you look at it in the right frame of mind, not as a beer, but as like the f- just kind of a lighter fruit kind of beverage or just something unique, I think you may find something enjoyable, but just don't go into it thinking it's a beer. It's a beer, right. 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 But what you can go into thinking is a great website is our website. Is about beverages.com. About beverages. That's com. right. And that is the place where you can find uh, the uh, tasting notes for this gluten-free beer along with where it hits on our recommendation scale. And uh, while you're there, definitely uh, become a fan of us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and uh, Twitter. Twitter. I kind of liked how I said that. I, did, I was going to let that go. Uh, I appreciate Twitter. that. Yeah. Twitter. I'm all a Twitter. Twitter. And uh, definitely uh, follow us uh on uh, all the other things we do, YouTube. I'm sorry, <laughs> I drew just a blank. go to the website. On YouTube, You'll find them. The yeah, there. they're all there. It's it's all there except for Untapped. Like that one is not like a link on the website. You'll just uh, if you're part of the uh, that community, then uh, you can uh, find us and find the things we're drinking. And we're about beverages on all that stuff. Search about beverages. You'll find everything. We'll be there. We'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> we're there wherever, wherever there, there is suffering. suffering. <laughs> we'll wherever be. there is beverage consumption, <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> but whether we like it or not. You should give it a gluten-free shot.